hello guys welcome back to another exciting tutorial and it's all about covid 19 coronavirus the recent ongoing situation and i want to show you that how you can make a infographic on covid 19 so here here are some examples you can see on your screen and there are there are many types of infographics Usually they are made uh, to explain the statistic or figures or any other information that you relevant that you want to give to others or you want to express them in a creative, in a, in a colorful way. This is the pure method. Now for that you need, need a script for sure. You need a content to do that. So I have made a content for you. And uh, in this I have uh, wrote about five countries, I have a little description, all you need a little uh, description and the, the, status, the stats of the COVID-19 recovery, deaths and uh, cases overall. So they are increasing day by day and people are also recovering. So right now we are talking about the five major countries that I had picked up. Now there, if you have, if you know another thing, or if you are searching for another stats, you can from the Google. So right now we will, we will be working on this. Okay, let's start. I have some here. I have this uh, vector doctors and. Uh, I had downloaded from the free vector you can download if you want to and these icons I have on my screen these are also downloaded and the image that you are seeing on your screen is from the Google I have saved and I will also convert them into vector now you can see the page size is 800 by 1600 1200 I guess okay now before doing that you need to make a color palette for yourself because it is mainly very important and you should also use Pantone colors Pantone colors are basically for printing uh, colors they are exactly the same color you get on your print so you better better make your own color palette before starting the infographic now I'm choosing right now and uh, whatever suits my design or my idea I will show you how it's going to be I'm gonna take three colors right now okay it's looking good mm. now Color process does take time. You have to choose perfectly. Now let's design whatever comes in your mind. Just make it up. Yeah, further on you will change the design if you want to. Okay. And create whatever shape you want to using pen tool. I'm gonna use these two doctors and place them up. I'm gonna image trace them. Just after doing this, extract them. Delete. Control X. Control V. And now set them here. Control Shift bracket to bring it upward. Bring it down small and okay we are set to go further you should always have an heading or an title that you need on the top of your infographic before starting your work okay so it's i'm gonna change the font here i need another font a good one 
now there are many fonts you can use or you can download it from the internet if you want to this process takes time No, okay, so I need a bit smooth and thin, not so not so bold or not so heavy. Okay, when you are designing the thing you sometimes when you're done with all the stuff then you really realize that I'm missing something so that is the point when you re when you do changes and the major changes that you do is after the designing once you get your design properly and you know, on a format then you want to do the changes so here you have four five characters so now I'm going to make this look good because I need one hand here I'm going to reflect that and I'm going to put here okay and this hand reflect here okay so we have total five characters five country five characters and there are other implications that you can do with your design it is not necessary that you should design as it is that I have shown you you can do your own creativity and you can do whatever you like make sure you do what I do uh, what I am doing right now with the fonts because it is uh, to make it proper looking yeah, to make uh, it should be readable get rid of 500 because it makes your font looks bad we can use these icons we can we will later on This needs perfection because sometimes you don't get proper pen tool. Okay. okay guys so before watching whole tutorial make sure you subscribe my youtube channel like the video do like the video and share if you think that it is good and it it should be spread so please share the video and one important thing is press the bell icon now we will take America first now I just wrote America you can also uh, wrote you can also write USA United States of America the whole wor world but right now I'm just going to use this only America right now the only situation you know that is happening in America but I'm not going to discuss it I'm just going to show you how you can make an infographic on COVID-19 if you want to share it and if you want to show it to anyone or, or, or any platform you can so whatever text if you, you are seeing on your screen it is just a normal text it doesn't any I've just used this to show you guys that how you can 
use the text and images these images and uh, text should be balanced the designing you are doing it should be balanced because everything you are doing here should be proportional and not so big not so small and should not be appeasing it should be decent and it should look good your color scheme does matter so make sure you create a good color scheme I'm gonna set this here make this smaller Okay, now once you're done with, with the one part, first part, you can do the uh, easiest thing is that you can duplicate them and you can move on further. Sometimes you get uh, many much information or a, a lengthy process you get from the client uh, information that you need to put in the infographics. So whatever you are designing, make sure your design is like that. You can compile all the text in in a proper way, in a in a good, in a pleasing, in a, in a on. You can say that it looks good. A designing doesn't like cluttered and it is like you can see nothing so it should be clean and crisp so make sure whatever you are designing it should look good and it should look perfect and it should be uh, non-destructive not destructive because when you are designing you should make sure you can do the changes in it God save us hopefully from this soon uh, the vaccine comes out hopefully pray for it Okay, so whenever you are, if you are doing this, if you are designing the infographics, the icons that you use in this, the icons that you want that are relevant to your design, you should search for them. You should collect them before designing, before starting the designing. So guys, I'm just, I think I should change the layout on this trying to do something good right now I want to change layout a bit because I'm not liking the square the stroke the status so I'm just going to change a little okay the color scheme is the same that we had earlier choose and I'm just going to set this just remember um, whenever you are designing make sure your negative and positive space should be balanced not so much negative not so much positive okay so make sure when you have space your content is uh in an easy way i can explain you that your content can breathe 
okay it, it doesn't look like it's just too much clutter so make sure uh, you keep in mind about the negative and the positive space There are a lot of variations that you can do with the design and with the color layout or the design layout or the format. There can be a landscape and portrait. So right now I'm just using this format for you guys. No, it should be up. Okay. So guys, I'm just uh, going to set the second one, duplicate, set the figures, China, copy the text, paste it, change the setting from, change the font size. This uh, tutorial is just to give you a basic understanding on how infographics are made, how you can make a simple infographic on any, any content or any topic you want to. Usually these are easy to express whatever you want to, so you can. Italy. It has been hot. One six two zero 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 three three six eight nine. Everything should be balanced, not so much or not so less, but balance. Okay, we have two more to go. Usually, uh, since now when I'm working, the clients mostly I have worked for the medical, medical infographics or dental or any other medical services because they they make this uh, easy to upload on their blogs and websites. To show the relevant information easily and and the user or the customer can easily understand it's also um, you can see that it's also easy to it helps the patients to read it clearly to the point information and it helps you a lot Okay, we are going to replace this last character in the circle. Just copy this text. Iran. One six four two seven zero. This will be eight zero seven one, and this will be one two seven four eight five. Done.
Now we're just gonna set the icons. Now let me tell you again that there are a lot of variations that you can do right now. This, uh, the idea is to just show you that how you can make the infographic. So don't, don't rush into the layout or don't just say anything because I'm just showing you guys how you can make this. Okay guys, so one major thing that is missing in this is COVID-19 symbol the symbol you see every on every uh, graphic or on every image you see a uh, symbol of COVID-19 that is a virus symbol so I haven't used that let's find out I'm just gonna copy this Okay, and I'm just gonna copy this and paste and then I'm going to image trace it Expand and delete or extract the black one from this and delete the white one And I'm going to make a smaller and give it a color and I'm going to place it here Now you can see that how much moving I am doing with the objects because it should look proper it should be not so like you just have pushed the object into the design it's, it should be, it shouldn't be like that you need to give it a proper placement so guys we are just done with this and do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel it's down there press the bell icon like the video share the video and stay tuned for the next tutorial